The motherfuckers from Omega Earth, right? No Radiant Knight. They have no bitches. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you're new here and you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe, check out my Twitch channel, and join my Discord, both of which will be linked in the description of this video. And just stay up to date with all my content coming out weekly. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into let's get into some of the lore. I'm gonna I'm gonna start at a high level from what I know, and then we can start looking at the wiki a little bit more. That's a lot of smoke. We love Please lore. What's up, Super? Please tell me you have the package. I would if somebody was a little less aggressive. Hey, stop! Uh, I said stop! A battle shoe would go crazy. I'm go. Oh, that's how you wanna play it. It's so cool seeing their abilities like this too. So I'll just get a piece here to play that. Oh god, bro. Val and Arcane would go crazy, bro. I haven't seen Arcane, but Val edited would be crazy. Dude, I wish I could hit a Vandal shot that accurately. The Phoenix Wall? And he curves it? Amazing. You cannot let her plant. Alright, I'm going in. What about the hostile? I wouldn't worry about her. Are you certain? 100! I got this. Yo, he says that when he does his ult. Oh my. Dude, with the ghost though? That's so sad. Oh my. Yo, can I get a fresh fade with the op? Fresh fade? Get it? Fade? Fade? <sighs> hey, control. So, about. The package. Okay, so there's two Earths, right? We have Alpha Earth and Omega Earth. Alpha Earth is the main Earth the Valorant games take place on. Um, so this is like all the maps except pearl pearl is on omega Earth, and fracture is technically on both half of fractures on omega half of fractures on alpha and how you discern the two is if there's green boxes that's alpha if there's orange boxes that's omega and that's why those maps suck exactly Zay. if they're based on omega earth l l maps it's it's like any other multiverse series so Okay, so this is a second Valorant cinematic. This just in. Reports of a disaster in Italy. Radionite may have been involved. Kingdom, whose Radionite power program accounts for more than three quarters of the world's energy production, have denied any connection to this disaster. Anyone it's in with the information air. on the two unidentified radiants spotted at the scene is being asked to come forward. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, so this is Vine. And this is kind of the introduction to KJ as well. Dude, it's so cool because you can see like the sights. You know what I mean? You see that shit? Oh my god. It may as well bang, we wouldn't have to deal with KJ. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey, take a look. It's stealing radiant night from the environment. How do we stop it? I'm on it. You'll need a radicore to power the heat signal. <laughs> I got this. Phoenix, wait. Hands up. 
Yo, it's him! <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, and then Viper with a Bucky, bro. Come on, from that range, you're not gonna damage shit, bro. You're gonna do like eight damage. Come on. We're gonna chill Viper with, bro. Viper with. Definitely bronze player. Dude, that sound, that's about to blow up. They don't have time. They don't have time to defuse. They gotta run. No, they have to. They actually didn't. I didn't expect that to work. Really? So, uh, maybe give us a heads up next time? So I blew like two minutes ago. Oh god. The big man. Tell him I need answers this time. What is your problem? We crushed it. Phoenix gonna look in the mirror. How come they look like us? And what do they want our radiant out for? I'll talk to Brimstone. It's time we filled you in. It's kind of rude that they didn't fill him in from the first place. Yo, dude, I love how they have post credit scenes. Main character Phoenix! Screwed up. You serious? You had it easy, Jet. You know they're bringing whole teams now, right? And so will we. Yo, they have a whole universe. Okay, this is the Mega Earth. And so this is where this was the cinematic where we officially learned that um, there's two Earths. Or basically, what we learned in this um, lore video is they are trying to steal the Radiantite from specifically bind in this case and we learned that the spike is actually a, a device used to take the rating knight and we learned that in the first lore video what happens is in ascent uh jet gets around phoenix takes the spike and plants the spike and blows it up and that's why ascent is now in the sky it's because they stole the rating knight from underneath it and so alpha earth valorant agents are trying to stop the omega valorant agents from stealing the rating knight and also valorant refers to the team of agents on each earth so the valorant protocol consists of all of the agents basically so there's there's this thing called radiant knight in valorant right uh, this is a lore thing. So like the, the fucking green and orange things that I was mentioning before? Radiantite boxes, okay? Radiantite. So Radiantite plays a huge part in the Valorant lore. So basically what's happening is the motherfuckers from Omega Earth, right? No Radiantite. They have no bitches. They don't have any Radiantite. They're, they're elves, you know what I mean? Like we said, L people, L map, L earth, dog shit earth. They don't have any Radiantite. So... On the other end of this, Alpha Earth is still rich in Radiantite. So this is like W Earth, right? Alpha Earth, W. W Earth, right? So uh, the motherfuckers from Omega Earth are like, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to go We're gonna go to Alpha Earth and we're going to steal this fucking Radiantite, bro. I need Radiantite. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna steal it and we're going to come back. Now you're asking yourself, what is Radiantite? Why, why do they want it so bad, right? And basically what this is, is like uh, supercharged shit. Uh, they don't necessarily define what it is exactly. And basically Radiantite is used by the companies. I say companies because they're different companies in Alpha and Omega Earth to manufacture weapons. So in Omega Earth, their Radiantite uh, company is called kingdom industries so we have kingdom industries on omega earth and then we have kingdom corporation on uh alpha earth and so i mentioned earlier the the skins uh the skins have lore too actually um as it turns out the kingdom corporation and kingdom industries both sell skins and that's how they make their money they sell different versions of the skins so like if you go into this if you go to the weapon skins there is I gotta remember what okay so it's definitely on the knife the k-tex set specifically you can see it here but basically the k-tex skins are made for kingdom industries or kingdom corporation because it's on earth one 
Let's go through the maps really quick, guys. So each map is based on a specific point in Earth. So like I said, all of the maps thus far, except for Pearl and Fracture, are based in uh, Alpha Earth. So the range and ascent, I believe, are part of the same area. And bind is from the second cinematic where they go diffuse it. And as you guys can see, Kingdom Corporations uh, actually is in the city already because they're refining the radionite there. When you go to bind, part of it is like industrial because they're trying to mine it there. But the rest of the map is like normal kind of tied to the lore since this is morocco this is where cypher's from so it, it relates to him that's why he's kind of an important character on the map and then we have haven this is based in bhutan i don't know i've never heard of bhutan like i've been a temple is subjected to the latest developments of facing a modern earth in the area of radiant okay basically kingdom corps there they're just taking it to store their radiant there it's whatever both forces are shitty yeah both for well so kingdom corp and kingdom industries aren't part of the valorant protocol they're just like companies that exist if that makes sense the valorant protocol itself is like quote unquote good haven kind of fun split is cool uh because half of it is actually the headquarters for kingdom corp and you can see that so uh b site is kingdom corp and the other side is like the the city because it's supposed to be in tokyo so it's like this side is like all like houses and shit and the other side is the building and shit uh ascent we've already been over icebox kind of important uh like we said uh this is based in russia and basically there's an ancient worship here and what we later on learn is this is where yoru gets his mask from and subsequently his powers uh and we'll, we'll cover that when we get to, to yoru specifically we have breeze which is also a pretty important map in terms of the lore because this map is where ko shows up from the future and so this is in the atlantic ocean i believe in the back of the map there's this crashed cruise ship and on this cruise ship is where ko hops out of there was a countdown here at some point and basically ko comes back from the future and then the last two maps have a lot of lore around them fracture specifically is huge we covered it already where it's like the two scientists are trying to match this collider they can get across universes and stuff and it's destroyed by two snipers aka the two chambers and it explodes killing most of the staff and then uh it's just kind of fucked up on both ends it's great fun it up then would recommend pearl is the first map that is based on omega earth besides that not much really there it's like in a dome it's in the bubble that's being sustained by the radiant yeah basic basic uh lore obviously they're based on real world places the one exception right fracture this map contains a lot of lore so fracture came out in one of the acts episode three act two is when it debuted right so fracture is kind of interesting so half of it is based in alpha earth right so this is b site on fracture and then a site is in omega earth and a lot of the lore on the map if you go up there's like cards placed in different parts of the map one specifically i can call out that uh, a lot of people have probably seen is uh from sat side on a right there's this little orb thing. And when you click the orb thing and it, came, it comes up with like little like lore like blurb. Basically what's happening is there's a scientist on Omega Earth and there's a scientist on Alpha Earth. And what they're doing is they're making a bridge to cross it. And they make this bridge, blah, blah, blah. And the two chambers end up meeting each other. I don't know if it's because of the bridge. We don't know that yet. And because of that, these chambers meet up and they decide, you know what? This project is terrible. We shouldn't do this. And so they destroy fracture and what that does is it rips the earth in half like it, it like combines the earths and that's where we get fracture from originally it's like you have site a has a bridge into site b and then alpha has a bridge into omega and omega has a bridge into alpha but they break it and it just mixes it and like merges it and that's why when you're in spawn on attacker side you see the little like thing underneath ropes which is like blowing up it's because the earths are like merged right there so when they're going to get fade um they basically had a corner her because she was showing them all nightmares and they corner her in uh istanbul turkey and that's what this is our blackmailer is headed east leon this is sova confirm you have target visual ground team collapse and converge on sector four Like their deepest fears, they're getting shown by uh, Fade. Fade to be cool. I've 
facing your darkest fears. Mine would keep them alive. Damn. They do be emo. Uh, and then after this, we learn that um, Ko is able to neutralize her with his, his ultimate ability. You know, because it makes everyone lose their powers. So basically, she loses her powers. They get some to her, and they find out uh, she was fighting them for no reason. It was great. Ten out of ten. We'll cover that in a little bit as well. Uh, last one we'll look at is the Shattered Episode Five Dimension Cinematic. Should it be clutching on the this is just a good setup I think. Actually before this, so um so part of episode four and episode three, the plotline revolved around Fracture. And basically, Fracture, they they discovered the lab, trying to make sense of it. They understood that people were coming from the other earth. So they wanted to try and get to the other earth themselves. So they had to take advantage of Fracture and open the portal. But little did they know, Chamber had the blueprints. And when Chamber was introduced, there was a whole lore surrounding him, how he was untrustworthy, how the Valorant Protocol didn't want him because he was kind of like a, a side swindler. So there's a lot of buildup. People thought he was a bad agent. People thought he was fighting with them. But as it turns out, he was supporting them and he gives them the blueprints. And as part of the blueprints, they also introduced Neon because they needed a power source to power the bridge to get to the second Earth. So during the initial cutscenes when you boot up the game for Act 4, for Episode 4, you could see Neon using her electric abilities and like trying to open this gate up with Killjoy sitting on the side and Chamber there as well. This video ended up being quite a bit longer than we expected. So much so that we actually had to split it into two parts if you guys enjoyed and want to see part two be sure to hit subscribe down below so you guys can keep up to date with the next upload along with that be sure to like and comment it helps out the video a lot so more people can see it also be sure to follow my twitch page it'll be linked down in the description below where we do stuff like this on stream also be sure to join my discord which will also be linked down in the description below that's it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed until the next video peace peace